our bone-headed protagonist, born again into this age of wonders. In life, he was just the worst. A coward, a cheat, a philatelist. Oh, was it a philanderer? I don't recall. But either way, he seems to have woken up uh, different. Perhaps he can redeem himself. Xerox should be more careful where he aims his dark magic. Morton was so happy when Dan died. Surely he initially had a lot of housework to do, but now he's got the place to himself and just how he likes it. Of course, Dan coming back to life was a bit of a shock, but Morton will do anything he can to keep his home buddy safe and get him back to the earthy darkness as quickly as possible. Can you imagine how boring it would be to be a sentient being, wise even, and be stuck permanently to a brick wall? No wonder these guys are grumpy. They pass time by eavesdropping, gossiping, and badmouthing any bizarre-looking adventures that might pass by. Even in medieval times, there were vending machines designed to part a foolish hero from his gold. Clever customers may qualify for a discount. Just don't ask the merchant how he acquires his wares. These guys were fashionably undead before it was fashionable to be undead. Your brain may have long since rotted, but that won't stop them from eating it. Just a few chops should do them in. Be careful not to miss. Oh, that would be embarrassing. It is said that Xerox's preoccupation with necromancy stems from an obsession to resurrect his childhood puppy. <sighs> Let's just reflect for a moment. Isn't that just tragic? All this poor troubled soul has ever wanted is to command the forces of darkness, enslave mankind, and play ball one last time with dear old Mr. Snuffy.